legend sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden. golden 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 things Mountain Laurel high fives For miles in spring Rainbow trout and hummingbird Good morning. Welcome back to Being Barker. Um, kids are off to school. Silas is in already in it with a workout video. It's not even 8 a.m. yet. And I am hungry. So I'm making myself a little egg Sammy down here. Um, I've been really enjoying, as you can tell, because there's only one left, these Dave's Killer Bread um, English muffins. Really good. Um, so yeah, give these a try. And there's eight grams. Oh, that's, that's grains. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Holding six grams of protein per um, English muffin. So that's a plus. Um, so yeah, I've got one in here. I like to butter it and then put it down in the pan and then let it get like toasted with two eggs, a piece of turkey that I'm warming up. I know you can't eat um, lunch meat or whatever when you're pregnant and some avocado makes for an incredible breakfast sandwich. Give it a try. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat some breakfast and then it's, I'm gonna be DIYing today because today, Ben and I um, were very excited, mostly me, and had plans to go to Ikea, road trip down to Memphis to go to Ikea today to get the dresser. Remember the dresser? The one I was selling stuff to earn the money for and I fell in love with? Well, she's out of stock everywhere. Like not just the Memphis Ikea, everywhere um so which is really unfortunate because it's, i really had my heart set on that dresser it was like the perfect color scheme and i really loved it um but yeah out of stock whoa sorry out of stock everywhere and i'm too impatient to wait for it to come back in stock i'm also 31 weeks pregnant so i don't know how long it'll take to get back in stock um so i've given up on that i've moved on I've scoured Pinterest. I figured out what I'm gonna do to DIY a dresser that we already have, which is great. It's also gonna save us a lot of money. That was the other thing, um, was that I was like praying the other day, like, God, you know, help me with my spending, make me make sure I'm not like overdoing it and um, you know, raining it being practical, and then it was like out of stock. And my mother in law was gonna keep Silas while we went to IKEA kid free while the kids were at school. She was gonna pick up the kids from school, keep Silas for us all day. And um, she is sick. She's getting better. Love you, Shelby. I'm glad you're feeling better. Um, but she wasn't going to be able to keep the silence today. So it was kind of like, no, 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 all these things lining up. So I just really feel like the Lord's telling me to save my money and don't be so extra. So instead, I'm just going to be extra about a dresser that I already have and don't have to pay for. And I'm, the paint I'm using, I already have. All I had to do was get different knobs um, and a trim piece to make the legs taller. So I'll show you how I'm going to DIY that after this egg sandwich, which I'll also show you because it's gonna be delicious. It's time to start the dresser. So here's the before. It's a great little dresser, love it. It's done a good job for us. These old handles, they're loud and they're not the vibe anymore. So I'm gonna take all these handles off, I'm gonna sand it all down, and I'm gonna do the body of it one color and the face of the drawers, the green color that's gonna match the room. And then, because I want it taller, I got, oh yeah, I'm going to cut the legs off of it. Ooh, see what I mean about squatting down and doing this when you're very pregnant? It's gonna take me a minute which is why I procrastinated all morning and it's freaking 9.30 and I haven't even started yet. So I'm going to cut this piece off, this piece at the end here, which uh, is separated from it. So I'm gonna cut this off and cut the legs off right at that so that I can add this trim piece, whoa, that's a wasp, um, to add like a natural wood color to it. So I'm gonna add this trim piece down here like this. It won't be painted, I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna use this 
square board thing to um, put the legs like that. And I'm gonna taper the bottom of them kind of like these are tapered, so like mid-century modern style. And I also want it to be taller. So it's gonna be up off the ground a little bit higher so it makes it easier to put the baby down because I'm gonna use the top as the changing table. And I remember when I did this with Silas as his changing table, I remember leaning over to like gently lay a baby down was it was just a little too short and it like made my back hurt a lot so I'm gonna add prop it up another couple inches like five inches or so um which will also give me room under the dresser to like put like a basket or two baskets or something of like extra stuff so more storage underneath it's gonna give me the height I want so let's get started well the joys of DIY I run into a snag hey choose your mouth closed um, it's 11, so I've been down there working on it. All I've done is sand and cut the legs off and that little weird trim piece in the front, only to realize that that trim piece in the front and the trim piece on the side don't match up evenly. So there's like a discrepancy of like a one and a quarter inches of like, I'm not 100% sure I don't how I didn't notice that before. I think because it was in the closet when I was, I would just open the closet and stare at it and while I was thinking about what I would do, that I never saw it from the angle that you'll see it when you walk into the room. So little problem, you know, like I said, joys of DIYing. We're gonna have to problem solve here. So I'm gonna go to the store after I have some grapes and cheese. Silas is here, he's having a bar and some grapes. Um, and then I'm gonna go try to find a little trim piece of wood to squeeze in between there that can be painted the same color as the rest of the dresser. So I'll show you. That was heavy whippy. And you're what? Ah, ah. we lost a grape. Um, yeah. Can I still pick it up? Yes, you can. So uh, yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's the dilemma I was saying. There's one end, that's the side of the dresser. And then the front of it doesn't meet up right. So the board I was going to put here, I had planned to have the leg cut off like that and have this flush, but then that would look weird because I wouldn't, you see what I'm saying? There'd be like a chunk of weirdness. So I had to leave that like that. And now I was in need of this much wood because it's all going to be painted to here, a solid color before we trade to this. So I just went to Home Depot and got these two, which equals the exact length I need for in between like this. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to get these two put together, put that there, and then all this will be painted one color. So it'll look one flush piece before I add my new leg. Okay. <laughs> It is several days later, so the last little clip you saw was Friday of last week. It's now Wednesday of the next week. Um, that took me a really long time, lots of coats of paint, and a lot of troubleshooting to get these flipping legs to go like I wanted. But again, joys of DIY. So here it is, the dresser. I really like how it turned out. I know it's not perfect, um, which makes it made by me. Uh, <laughs> so you could, there's probably some imperfections you can see even from that distance. But with what I had, I made do, and it's kind of sweet that it's still the same dresser that I used for Silas. And yeah, I'm happy with it. I think it looks cute. It looks very exactly part of this room with the colors and everything. Um, I used the same knobs as up here on the closet. I did little ones on the smaller drawers and then there's just big old fat ones down here and I really like these big fat ones. I'm considering changing the closet to big fat ones just so they make a big, bigger punch for them, you know, pack their punch. Um, but yeah, I like the combo of the wood and the colors and everything. So she's not perfect, like I said but whatever, it's done. So yeah, that was a big thing that needed to get done and the rest of the like furniture stuff um, will just be ordered. So I, I am now done officially DIYing for this room, but I just wanted to wrap up, let you see the final product of the dresser. I'll get some cute shots of it for you. Here we go.
I'm getting the Halloween itch. I know it's only September 21st, um, but I really love Halloween and the older my kids have gotten, the more fun it is because they get really into it. So I had been bringing up, I have one tub of Halloween decorations and a lot of it was either made or purchased last year. Because before that, I never really decorated for Halloween, but last year we got really into it. It was really, really fun. So it's kind of like going through what I had um, from last year, deciding what I was going to put up from this year. So I think I might be throwing some Halloween stuff. I got a pumpkin. I put a pumpkin up over there earlier. Um, and I found, don't tell Ben, these little bats, a string of lights, and they're not as long as I thought. I thought they'd be long enough to be up here on the mantle. So they may go on the mantle, they may not, who knows, but they light up purple. So it's this whole string of little bats and they light up purple like this. I thought that'd be so fun. I might put them in a kid's room um, to be like a nightlight situation. I got my little ghost out. I had, last year I had like a little piece of different colored, uh, what do you call it? String or something around each of their necks. And I can't find where I put them. So I gotta find that. It's probably in that tub. But yeah, I got my little ghosty poos out and I'm rearranging where a bunch of plants are going and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, I'm getting the Halloween itch. I probably won't include that in this video only because a lot of you are gonna find that really boring. But what I didn't include and I had planned on doing and completely forgot because pregnant brain. I tried a new Pinterest recipe. I'll link it below because it was actually really good. It wasn't difficult, um, but it's a casserole. It's chicken, broccoli. Oh my gosh, we've crushed this. Okay. It looked better when it was cooked, but there's um, shredded chicken, broccoli, pasta, and cheese, and then and mushrooms. And you make your own like cream of mushroom soup kind of situation, which is just like you saute onions, mushrooms, you add a little bit of flour and um, milk and some seasonings. And it was so good, like really, really good. And so I'll include, here's a picture on a Pinterest when it's supposed to look like real beautiful. Um, and I was gonna show you that I made that because I, was, I like to include new recipes on here because I know some people get recipe ruts like I have been in one lately. So I wanted to share that I found this one and it was good. My kids were kind of like, okay about it, but Ben and I both really liked it. Um, and it wasn't that hard. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna have some of that for lunch right now, but yeah, and I also need to water my plants. <sighs> my kitchen is dirty. I need to vacuum and I can't breathe. Have you, has anyone else noticed the last couple of videos I've uploaded? <sighs> it sounds like I've been running before I turn the camera on? No, that's just what 32 weeks pregnant person sounds like when they're breathing. And yes, my shirt doesn't reach my pants, but are we gonna talk about that? No, we're not because I'm running out of options and this is how I went to the chiropractor today. And some maternity bag shorts and a too small shirt. <laughs> and he didn't care, whatever. Anyway. I'm gonna have some lunch now because I'm starving. Apologies for the annoying breathing if that bothers you. I really can't help it, I'm trying. I know it's, it bothers me and I can't help it, so I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.